In this next chunk of videos, we're going to look more closely at sine and cosine, in particular sine and how to come up with functions and graphs that model circular motion. In this problem, we have Steve the Bug. Steve the Bug decides he's going to land on this fan. And no criticizing my drawing of the fan. Actually, let's make the fan a little bit bigger. I know it looks like a flower, just go with it. Alright, we have a standing fan, and this fan is spinning counterclockwise. Steve the bug comes around, and he lands on our fan in the 3 o'clock position. Here is Steve. The fan has, or Steve is located, 2.6 feet from the center of our fan. We want to find a function that gives Steve's vertical height, okay, this means we're working with sine, in terms of the angle Steve has swept out. Okay. First of all, define your variables. We know our input is going to be angle measure, or our angle swept out. in radians and H is going to be Steve's vertical height above the horizontal diameter in feet. Go Steve. Okay. This means h, which is a function of theta. We know if we plug in theta to sine, that will tell us Steve's vertical height in terms of radius length. So it will tell us how many radius he's up. If he's a half a radius length up, if he's three quarters of a radius length up, or if he's a full radius length up. But we want his vertical height in feet, not radius lengths. So what we have to do is we have to take that number, however many radius lengths Steve is, and multiply it by the length of a radius. In this case, 2.6. And that will tell us how many feet Steve is up. So we get h, which equals f of theta, is 2.6 sine theta. Let's look at this next part. If Steve makes five complete rotations before flying away, give the domain and range. Well, we already know that one complete rotation is 2 pi, which means two complete rotations is 4 pi, three would be 6 pi, four would be 8 pi, five is 10 pi. So our domain, which is all our possible values of theta, is anything from zero to 10 pi. Or you can write this with an inequality notation of 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 10 pi. Our range is all the possible values of Steve's height. Steve can be anywhere from negative 2.6 feet away from the center or below the center to 2.6 feet above the center. Lastly, we want to sketch a graph. Well, we know Steve starts 3 o'clock position, so he's at 0 feet up. He then goes up to 2.6 feet, down to 0 again negative 2.6, 0, and at 2 pi, remember he's completed a full rotation, up to 2.6, back down to 0. We don't have to graph the full 10 pi, but we do need to indicate that Steve keeps going off to the right. And there's our graph.